evening, folks. Welcome to the Santiago Martin. We are in Tenerife, Spain, the Canary Islands, way down off the west coast of Africa. And uh, this is the first semifinal. And the United States come out strong, getting the first basket uh, from Brendan Grider. This is what they call the business end of the tournament. This is when you can expect the USA to really start bringing their best. Lenskins and misses with the jump shot. Rudy Griner turns and runs into a little bit of trouble. They're hemmed in by Mestag and Lenskins. Good job by Mestag going over and doubling Brittany Griner and helping out her teammate Lenskins on the low post there. Now you know they have been studying their tapes about how they were so effective. And already, Alamon starts with a three-pointer. They've shot the ball well at times. They've had a lot of success with their pick and rolls, their give and goes. It's one thing to scout it and to know how you're supposed to stop it. It's something else to actually do it. Alamon drives in, maybe in a little bit of a rush there. Do you ever think growing up, Alamon, I'm sure she watched Sue Bird like many people that and she knew she'd be going head to head with her at some point in her life. How cool is that? Very cool. Here she is. And hitting the three pointer as well. She's got big game veins, shall we say. Blood running in her veins. Big game blood, how about that? Oh, Delar, oh, the Mestag, who's been tough. There's Emma Messaman with a little runner. Little pump fake. No intimidation from Messerman. Look at that. And he knows them as a WNBA player. Exactly. I was just going to say that. She is not intimidated. She's, you know, a WNBA star. She does her thing over there. She, also, she really knows them well. Also faces them when she's competing in Europe. You know, with the big clubs. All these top flight Americans. Uh, Emma Messman Come plays over. with a few of these women. So here's Delar. Going at Tina Charles. And the Venezuelan referee called a foul. This was Messerman. You have to beat Charles, and then you have to Shoot over Griner. No problem. Alemán. Mestag uh, starts out strong. And just as they have done the last couple of games, Belgium coming out and firing. Bird to Griner. She goes up against Lenskins. Soft touch from Brittany Griner. Oh, somebody had a handful of uh, Mestag jersey there. Now, Bird crosses midcourt to Brianna Stewart, and then she scores in transition and draws the foul. And already right away in this first three minutes, this is a different U.S. team than we saw yesterday, Jeff. It is. Oh, yeah. She got her right on the left wrist. Yep, they're coming out and running. There's Penny Taylor. I guess we can call her a legend now since she stopped playing for Australia. The MVP, the uh, World Cup back in 2006. And jump shot is good for Messerman. Now DT, good, the three-pointer. USA take the lead. Adam on to Lenskins. And Stewie knocks it over Alamon's head and into the hands of a teammate. Tarazi had a, a rough 
quarterfinal, but she's come out and hit the three, and now another shot down low for Tina Charles. And good play from Brittany Griner getting her hands up. And again, Stewie, as calm as you like, goes in and puts it up off the glass and in. It's been a bright start by Belgium, and they're trailing 14 to 9. That's how good this USA team is. Alamont. Over to Messerman, pump fake. Just goes right in for the layup. We got veteran USA team out there now. Messerman, she's fouled by Charles. It's interesting how Charles is one of the four players on the court right now who played at the University of Connecticut <laughs> under Gino Oriema, who, by the way, the former USA coach Oriema in the stands. Morgan Tuck also played there. Elena Del Don spent a summer there. I just talked to you about how important that program is and the kind of players that Gino Oriema is able to develop in the careers that they have. Yep, sells itself, doesn't it? Van Lu! Usaki, a nurse of Canada, who played there. Agui McKay gets the rebound, Stanford Cardinal. And the rejection from Redskins. So they're saying. Yeah, they might have caught Indiana a break, Stewart Belgium. Threw it out of bounds. Alamon. Van Lue from the left. It's good. Raining three pointers. We got a tie game. Tarazi drives right down the lane. Ball goes out of bounds over to Belgium. Raman in the game for Belgium. Raman number 42, and Van Lu. Also, Hannah Mestag is in the game. Giving her sister an early breather. Both Mestags can shoot it. Lenskins from the right. It's good. <laughs> oh, Belgium. <laughs> they have come out, and they're not intimidated, like we've seen for the past two games. They had that one tough loss to Japan. Tarazi comes back. In overtime during the group phase. But since then, have they ever turned the corner? And they're and they playing at a level that is podium worthy. Van Lu with a pump fake. Alamon, not that time. Yep, they've beaten Spain here in Spain. And they've beaten France. But this is a. A uh, perhaps a more difficult task, the USA, but they're hanging with them right now. Hannah Mestag. Yeah, they beat Spain, second ranked, FIBA ranked team in the in the world, sorry. And Rama tripped up. Fourth. Maybe they're ready to take off the first. I'm just saying, they've already taken out the second, the fourth. At the end of the day, it's it's basketball, isn't it? And you play. Redskins goes out, Messerman comes back in. Tarazi, Griner go out. Asia Wilson now in the game, as is Jewel Lloyd for the United States. Two people making their first appearance with the senior team here for the and U.S. And a mess tag gets into the lane. Some contact. And the foul on Wilson. So Alamon comes out and Carprio comes in. You see Super wearing the face mask. And she goes out of the game. And 
See Aguamike there getting that. <laughs> a little bit of uh, arm. So Kelsey Plum also in the game for the USA. Messiman. Gets it to Van Lu. To Moraine. Belgium playing like they are possessed right now. Well, in fact, they have been. The last three games. They have been. They are on another level right now. And it's so exciting and fun to watch. Akwumake dribbles, takes her down to the size of Carprio, who knocks it away. Here's a player that likes uh, the big stage. <laughs> Mistake! Okay, this time gets inside and gets rejected by Messerman. Carprio crosses midcourt. Julie Van Lewis hit a couple of threes already. She gets it back to Messerman. Got it! And that's why this game just... is almost sold out. They came to watch Belgium play, Jeff. Well, the USA, you know they're good. And Belgium proving they're every bit as good so far. Plum from the right, rattles out, long rebound to Lloyd. Stewart, just calm as you like, goes in and scores with that left hand. And like I said, I think Stewart is so talented because she is six foot four and she plays like a guard. Carprio gets in the lane behind the back. Raman loses it as she gets inside and the ball goes out of bounds off of Asia Wilson. Here again is Akumike. Oh, there might have been some Maybe some not arm. by Messman, but I think it was Delar who maybe fouled her first. And then this was uh, when the Messman hit that short jump shot. Mestag got a little space. And a foul called. USA, so that are they over the limit now? Uh, 104 remaining, so two shots. <laughs> Raman goes out, Lenskins comes back, it's uh, Messerman at the line. Fast start, Messerman, you can see. Look at the Spain fans, they're excited about this one. Well, maybe they're thinking if Belgium can upset the U.S., it might be, I'm sure, I'm imagining that the Spain fans here are all rooting for Spain to move on, play in the final. So maybe they're thinking, hey, we have a better chance of beating Belgium than the U.S. That in might, a potential gold medal game. But they've already lost to them once. They have. Lenskins gets her hands up, prevents the pass to Asia Wilson. Van Lu on the break, pulls it out. Carprio goes behind her back, going at Lloyd. Messerman hands it off to Van Lu, puts it up. Now Lloyd pushes it for the USA. Okwumake, and if you're gonna foul, Carpio, you gotta foul so she doesn't make the shot. There's Oriema, the right corner of the screen. I mean, she did foul pretty hard, I think. Okwumake is just so much stronger that she was able to get that ball off and score it. Okay, makes the free throw, the three-point play, gets it back to a two-point game. Lenskins, quick pass, Besselman, and a foul as well. That's a good call. Uh, Asia Wilson just kind of slid right into Messerman. No, I think it's a great call. Good pass by Linskin. She sort of looked like she was going to shoot it, saw Messerman underneath, 
you know, you, and then you saw the veteran uh, Kim Mestag huddle her team up, and I think she told them, hey, guys, we have a foul to give. So no easy baskets. If you need to, take a foul, but not on the shot. Kelsey Plum gets in, and after the final buzzer goes off, so, well, you know, there was a moment there where the USA looked like they might start, might start pouring it on, but here again, the, you can see the board light up before uh, Plum releases it. Belgium come back, and they have a 26-21 lead at the end of the first quarter here in the Santiago Martin, this first semifinal of the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. Yeah, but yeah. These are details, and details will decide the game. I think far from being nervous, the USA also really relishing the challenge. They want a game, and so far Belgium are giving them one. Van Lu. Over to Messeman, Lenskins. And Stewart with the rebound. Wide open, Jewel Lloyd. Good. Soft touch from the left corner. Point for number four, Jewel Lloyd of the United States. Triple at number four. This it's back to a two-point game now. Lenskins all the way over to Carpio. Carpio turns it over. Now Plum has it to Stewart. And Stewart misses. Well, Belgium dodged the bullet there. Oh, shifty move from Van Lu off the back of the iron. Tarazi open, good! Dinah Tarazi already playing better than she did last night. Yeah, she struggled a little bit yesterday. I just don't feel like she ever got into a rhythm. Big game, Dinah Tarazi. And Mistak gets in and scores. Lloyd to Tarazi. And to Deladon. And the ball bounced off the rim. Stewart was in there for the tap, but it bounced over ahead. Carpio over to Messaman. And Lloyd with the board. Yes, they can go back in front with the basket. Charge called on Lloyd. Over the shoulder. It's a good call. Mestak did a good job yeah. of just finding a little bit of space there behind Tarazi. And nobody helped out. She just scored over Plum. Uh, so Reiner back, Stewart out, Alamon also back in as well as Delar. Delar says maybe I'll bring it back out to Alamon. Delar, good, three pointer. Great patience. First three that she's taken and she makes it. Bird to Griner. Goes to work on Messaman. Follows up her shot. Well, that's tough to stop right there. Mestag back to Messaman. 
Back to Raman. Belgium passing it around. Raman's going to go to Griner. And Raman travels. Griner needs to move her feet and keep her hands up. <laughs> She's going to score. No one can score over her. No, absolutely. You said it. And here. I mean, she can almost just pass the ball to herself. She doesn't have a good shot and go follow it. You really have to try and box her out, push her under, or push her out. Now the dump to Griner. <laughs> Alamon. And then Alamon dribbled it off her foot. Staley. One of the all-time great USA basketball players. Olympic gold medalist. Olympic champ. flag bearer. Yeah, Olympic flag bearer. And from the corner, that was Bird. Deladon chases. Delar, guarded by Bird, into Messerman. Back up top to Raman. Now Mestag puts it up, got a little daylight. Tried to bank it in, Blum, Blum comes back now. Bird, over to Deladon, who gets into the lane. And what a soft touch from Elena Deladon. And Philip Mestag calls timeout. Delar goes to her right. So what will Belgium do coming out of the timeout? Alamon. Delar puts up a long one. And Raman is able to hustle the bird to the ball. And now she gets it inside. Super might have got away with a little foul in the shot there. And it's Razi, a little careless with the ball. Now quickly to Aleman. And she gets it up and in right before Stewart was able to get there. Stewart from deep. And Delar in Belgium. Alamon with a little reverse. Well, she was in position. She just didn't make it. Now Bird in the USA. Hannah Mestag trying to get the hands up. Now Raman. Well, that's a tough assignment for anybody. Della Dawn just puts it in and ties it. Lenskins for three, and ball bounces out of bounds. So that three-point shooting for Belgium is uh, dropping a lot. It's now below 30%. Down to 29%, four of 14. And they have taken only 15 two-point attempts. So I imagine, I mean, they were hitting them early, but maybe it is a little intimidation factor. They see the, the you know, a Brittany Griner underneath, Brianna Stewart coming from help side. A bird's three misses. And great hustle from Stewart, but I think she was already, think she was out, already of out of bounds. Yeah. It's that extra effort, though, that makes a difference in these games. Oh, it might have hit her after okay. it bounced off uh, Hannah Mestag's leg. Quick pass to Messaman. She's surrounded by Tarazi. She, Tarazi 
Well, she was being harassed, was messing, and she tried to get it to Delar, and Delar couldn't control it. So, so Van Lu comes back in, Delar goes out. What do you think about the tempo of the game right now? You know, I don't. I think the U.S. could actually play a little faster and use their athleticism and their bench a little bit more, maybe try and tire out this Belgium team. Deladon, good, the three-pointer. I, I think right now the pace actually favors Belgium. Well, quite a nice player to bring off the bench uh, at the start of the second quarter. Deladon. And we saw her hurt her foot yesterday. We oh, nice shifty was. move, Carprio. And she beat everybody, but then uh, Griner finally reacted and got over and got the swat. Now the pass to Stewart out of bounds. The pass from Tarazi. That's pretty intimidating. You're going up for a layup, and then Brittany Griner comes out of nowhere. I mean, just the length. She's so tall. Yeah, I'm not sure Carpio will do that again. <laughs> Carpio travels. Two minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the first half. And Belgium are right there where they'd like to be. But the USA can put points on the board quickly. And they if they can. start hitting. Belgium's in a zone. If they start hitting some outside shots. If the score could go up quickly. There's Deladon. Oh, she gets it inside and. Well, you wouldn't think she would miss that, the way she's been playing so far. If she does, Lenskins hands it off to Van Lu, who slipped. And a Mustang, good! Another three-pointer. Boy, how proud must Philip Mustang be? He's uh, got a couple of girls that know how to play the game. Linskins called for the foul, Griner. You... She was set, she was ready to go, right? She, when she was, caught it. and clearly, Philip Mestak, the coach of Belgium, did a good job of developing his daughter's shots because both of them are incredible three-point shooters. Tarazi for three, and Stewart comes in. Blinskins blocks her, and great hustle from Carprio. <laughs> Belgium fans are giving it the support, the love to their team as they are refusing to give in here against the USA. Blinskins hands it off. Now, Julie Van Lu. Seven on the shot clock. And Tarazi almost comes up with a steal. Five on the shot clock. What play are they going to run? Well, we know they don't need much time to get baskets after beating Spain with just one second. Oh, she fakes the handoff. Carpio puts up the jumper this time. And Deladome with the rebound. Good defense from Lenskins. Again, good defense, but Griner. It's just great passing from the USA Bigs. Back and forth to each other. Yeah, really. And this is a team that actually haven't spent a lot of time together. So for them to already have kind of the feeling of where your teammates are going to be. I mean, Brianna Stewart got up in the air, did a 160 to try and pass it out to Griner, knowing that she was going to be there. Look at the USA faithful there. Seven points for Griner. Thirty-eight, thirty-six. 
here in the final minute. Carpio over to the Lenskins. She's shown that she can hit the jumper. She's raising eyebrows tonight, folks. And what I like that is that Linskins can bring out Brittany Griner, which then will open up things on the inside for this Belgium team. Look at this. She is, you know, last year pit park player on the Belgium team that finished third at the FIBA Euro Basket Women this year, major minutes in the FIBA Women's uh, Basketball World Cup semifinal. That's quite a progression. So. <laughs> and Dinah Tarazi taking exception to Van Lu. They're just competitive. Yeah, they are. I mean, Belgium knew that they had a foul to give. I don't mind this. I mean, Diana Trazzi kind of got away with a little bit of a hold there. Do you think part of that is Tarazi trying to get Van Lu out of her game Possibly. in Belgium? I mean, if you've watched any of Diana Trazzi's WNBA games recently. Not just recently. Diana likes to talk. She'll, she'll, you know, give you a little chatter during the game, and I think uh, part of that is just her competitiveness, but maybe also, like you said, the psychological factor, her trying to get people guarding her, who she's guarding, off their game. She makes the first, she wants to rip your heart out on the court. But after, she's like the nicest person ever. Absolutely the nicest person ever. She makes both. <laughs> oh. Unsportsmanlike has been called. That's always a danger. Sportsmanlike foul called on number five. She tried Jason to go the for the ball, but Mestag was, or Alamon was so far ahead that she couldn't get to the ball. Yeah, so the unsportsmanlike foul, you have to be going Two, for the ball, goals. and I think the referees there thought 55, that Julian she did kind of wrap her arms around her, and she wasn't going for the ball. That, like you said, Watch Here we this. Get a better angle. She's trying. Oh yeah, oh, no, yeah. that's that's an unsportsmanlike. Yeah. There's no question. I mean, I mean it's as, as it's been interpreted in uh, international competitions the last couple of years. So she makes just one of two. One get it back to a one-point game. Substitution for Belgium in the game. Well, we've seen Belgium 13. score two points with 1.1 yeah. one seconds left. Exactly. Against Spain. And now they've got 3.5 seconds. Here's Alamon again, and another foul called on Plum, which is not surprising. You know, uh, just watching this tournament, I think Julie Alamon is a lot faster than she looks and that people realize. Mistag asking uh, the French referee if someone was tugging on her shirt. In any event, the USA lead it 40 to 39 in a fantastic first semifinal. Well, folks, if you're back from your break at halftime, third quarter now underway. And the USA trying to go down low to Brittany Griner here uh, on their first possession. And why wouldn't they? They had some success with her early tonight. 
And now the ball inbounded to Charles. Americans up by one. And Tarazi comes right out and buries the three-pointer. And you can just see the focus and the de determination on Tarazi's face. She is not going to let this game slip away from her. What about Mestag? Comes right out and answers wide open. Surely the Americans respect her ability to not get a three-pointer. Tarazi again, good. Uh-oh, she's having one of those games. She's just gone from B plus to A. <laughs> 16 points, four of six from deep. Tarazi. And the USA up by four. Lenskins on the baseline. And you know, Tarazi was quoted coming into this tournament. She remembers what it felt like in 2006 to lose. They haven't lost since then, keep in mind. But she, she said, I remember losing, and I'm going to do everything in my power to not feel that way again. Lamar called for foul. Can she have a steal? This is Lenskins. And Bird uh, running out, getting the hand in the face. Lenskins has been tough tonight. Messenger with the rebound. Now Delar. And Alamon over to Mestag. Born to shoot. I mean, she is electric. Nine points for Mestag. Delar called from foul. Trying to stick with Tarazi, who's red hot right now. <laughs> Alamon already has eight assists tonight. <laughs> wow. She might be going for another record. Tarazi for three. Got it, another one. She lives for arms like this, folks. 18 points. And we're just two minutes into the second half. Mestag. And Charles grabs the rebound. And Linskins just takes it right away from Griner. Denies her the, the pass. Oh, spin move. And Massaman goes in and a foul called. Again, you know, you get back to Messerman. She knows. She's she knows what this is about. She faces it annually. She knows in the exactly. WBA. Yeah, she knows what to expect. She knows what kind of defense. She knows how athletic, how quick they are, how long they are. Really, I I think that's why we're having we're seeing. I mean, we've seen a great game from her every game in this tournament. But you can just tell she's very familiar. She knows these people very well, and that's why I think she's as confident as she is. Fans and family members with the Belgian flags painted on their face, the Belgian colors. Calls for hope here against the USA. Bird for three. Charles with the rebound. Now Tarazi, Bird, she gets another one. She might knock it in. Stewart for three. Good. And Brittany Griner almost forcing the turnover. Alamon to Delar. That's Stag, she's got to launch it. And Charles with the rebound. Now they've got numbers. Bird decides to get it to Stewart. Oh, it took the three instead of going to the basket. Alamon, Messerman, long jump shot, good. Back to a two-point game. And Jeff, that's her ninth assist. 
might be in double digit assists two games in a row. Julie Alamont for Belgium. Wow. She's fantastic. And look at Messner. Messner's six for six from two. Lars coming in as well as Rollin. And Lenskins uh, goes out. Sorry, Delar goes out. Uh, Van Lu and Raman comes in. And it's a. It's, with, when you lose Lenskins, you lose that great jump shot. But you've just added a jump shot with Van Lu. Jewel Lloyd in the game, number four for the USA. Belgium can tie it or go in front with a three. Alamont. Oh, couldn't quite get the pass to Messamon, who was open. And Charles, Brittany Grinder goes down. And the battle for the ball. And Raman hustles down and is fouled. The USA had numbers. to Messerman, puts it up and in over Charles, and we've got a tie game. Now Griner turns and scores. This is uh, about as close as he gets, folks. Van Lu gets it to Mestag at the line. And good rebound, Charles. Outlet to Lloyd. Tarazi. Fouled by Raman. Play the cream rises to the top in the big games. They really do. And Dinah Tarazi is very creamy. Because she's been amazing in this game. And Grinder as well has been tough. Uh, so have uh, several of these Belgian players. And again, it's such an interesting situation with the USA now that they bring in Deladon. He's got so many stars, world stars. They do, and there's a nice article about Deladon saying she would leave the door open for the chance to possibly come and play in Europe. And how would some of those professional teams in Europe would love to have Del Doan on their team? Van Lu, back to Raman. On a call for the foul of Griner. Second for Griner, USA up by six. Is that their biggest lead of the game? And Waters checks in for Messerman, who's been terrific. Oh, takes the handoff. Now Raman. Oh. Tough pass to catch, but Alamon was able to uh, save it and throw it off of Lloyd with 3.6 seconds remaining. Somebody's got to launch it. It's going to be Alamon. And Deladon brings it. It's just a moment where the USA start to pull away. They're up six. Deladon. 
Well, she took some contact. Van Lu. Passes it back out to Alamon. Long rebound to Alamon. And Tarazi goes over and uh, extends the hand of friendship. We right here, Tarazi just couldn't stop herself. A stag and Waters gets it, but a reach and a foul call on Raman. Raman has to come out of the game. He's got three fouls. Struggled a little bit in those minutes. And this puts. Rossi back on the free throw line. First one is good. What was it? Nigeria got it back to 11 yesterday. And their coach usually picked up a technical. The end of the third quarter, yep. And that's when it, the, the floodgates opened. But in all honesty, Belgium has, this game has been played at a higher level tonight. At least offensively. Yes. Especially by the U.S., actually. Messerman catches it. And Belgium finding it difficult to score now. Barazzi wide open for three. And the ball bounced over. Checks back in. Inside the final three minutes here of the third quarter. Carpio bound to Heineken pass. Aaron Waters. That was going to be a highlight reel play. You got to make that in. Look at Carpa. Oh, behind the back pass is her specialty. It is her specialty. It's her go-to. And I'm sure she just wanted an opportunity in this game to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. Ann Waters needs to make that layup, and she knew it, too. And how often do you have a chance for a three-point play, and then you end up missing a free throw as well? 37 years old, former WNBA star herself. Stewart wide open. And Lloyd challenged Van Lu. Van Lu complaining to Rosso that Joel Lloyd came over the back. Watch this. Well, she got some ball, but she definitely crashed into Van Lu. Stewart. Good hands. Lloyd from the left. Oh! Hits it over Messerman. And the USA now leading it by 10 points. Look at this. Messerman gets her hands up. But Lloyd. We know she can shoot it. Thank you. 
job in the first half with that deny Two free but if she gets position on you you know you toast we did see that double the one time in the first half by uh mess dag when the ball sandwiched. did get in yeah but like you said if you if you let her catch it low i mean she's gonna score 80 percent of the time yeah she's gonna score 80 percent of the time 90 Wait, here we go. There was a joke in there somewhere. Mess tag. <laughs> Van Lu. One right at Bird. Boy, grabs it. Takes it back. Now Delazon. Reiner again posting up. Now Stewart. And two points for scores the over Messina with the contact. I mean, that just kind of shows you how talented Stewart is, too. That was a tough basket for her to make. And now Deladon saw the pass coming. She gets in transition over to Lloyd, over to Stewart, and the USA have taken a 69-55 lead here in the final minute of the third quarter. Oh, Caprio, oh, how in the world? A little runner off the backboard. I thought for a second it might be one of her passes. <laughs> She's a fun and interesting player to watch. And it goes Stewart and USA getting some joy now down low. Again, maybe one behind the back pass, too many. And I think the foul on Van Lu. And they're going to be shooting. Probably not the smartest foul. Substitution. That was the shot that she made. Did it not look like she was possibly looking for Ann Waters on that? In two minutes, yeah, yeah, number yeah. six. Maybe it was a pass pump shot. Replacing number 35. Turned into a shot. We takes her time. And what are the USA at the free throw line right now? 14 to 14. 15 to 15 Sorry, yeah. now. And 16 to 16. Number four, the USA. And a long attempt from Messerman. Well, you know what? USA are, without a doubt, talented, and they are the defending champions. And now they lead it by 16 over Belgium. Well, for Belgium, really, to have any hope here, they need to make inroads now, and they've got to get stops. Messerman <laughs> comes out, misses the jumper. Charles with the rebound. Lloyd for three. And Lamar brings it up for the Belgians. Oh, 
Behind the back again to Messaman. Now Bird. Cross court over to a Tarazi. Deladon, good. 75 57. Again, behind the back from Mestag this time. Hits the three. Gets it back to 15 points, the deficit. But if USA miss, the Belgians have to limit their, their opportunities. They get the block there, but nobody was there to pick up the ball. Delar for three. Good. Belgium starting to heat up again. Back to 14 points. Charles, fade away. Boy, I'll tell you what. Unstoppable, that <laughs> shot. I'm not sure what more Mesman could have done guarding that ball. You just have to applaud Charles and the USA. I mean, they're playing very well offensively. And now Messerman gets tangled up with Deladon and goes down. Deladon helps her up. And she caught a blow to the face. Look at this. Tell me what more could you possibly have done to make Charles shoot a more difficult shot, and she still made it, like without hesitation. Messina goes inside, scores with a reverse. Well, you really, you know, no matter the end result here, you just have to appreciate this game. It's a real celebration of basketball. Both these teams playing at a high level, and obviously the USA at a high, the highest level. I mean, Tarazi. Again, Carpio commits the foul, but does not prevent the main basket. I expected the U.S. to come out and play at a higher level than they have been playing at. You know, this is do or die. This is to get to the, the finals, the gold medal match. And I don't think I should be surprised anymore by how good this Belgium team is. But I, I just, they still keep taking my breath away. Yeah, they, they've competed against the USA team that's playing well. It hasn't missed a free throw tonight. They're 17 of 17. Fabio pulls up. Nobody under the boards. Alamon's going to come back in. A rare turnover for the USA, now Delar. USA get back on defense, though. Bounce pass, beautiful play! But Messerman can't finish. And the Charles down low. And Charles now is having her way. So many weapons for the USA. Oh, beautiful play, Belgium. Messerman was patient. Mestag was patient. And it finished with a Carpio layup. Bird from the left. Good! Finally gets one to go. Super. 20 points, the lead for the USA. And a foul was called. They count the basket and also an off the ball foul. 
which will keep the ball in Belgium's hands. This was Bird's three-pointer on the previous and possession for the USA. I wonder here, you know, you saw Coach Mestag of Belgium took out Messman, took out Delar. Quick pass into Lenskins from Nalas, and that's a four-point trip down the floor. I'm wondering if he's thinking, Kay, I don't want to say time is running out. There's still five and a half minutes left. But you're down 14. When do you start thinking about tomorrow? Offensive foul. On Tarazi. Foul. Now Lenskins is a chance against Charles. Oh, she had a handful of shirt and she still made it. Charles lucky to get away with one there. Lenskins, a 21 year old with no fear. Raman guarding Stewart. Grabs the board. A 14 point deficit. Belgium. Oh, beautiful bounce pass. Raman just didn't finish. Quickly to Stewart. And Mestag fouls her. I'll tell you, Raman, Raman plays hard. You can't falter. He just doesn't have quite that same touch in some of her uh, drives to the basket. Van Lu comes in from Mestag. And here's Linskins again. Look at her tugging on her shirt. But she still made it. Linskins has done herself, you know, she's raised eyebrows tonight. Oh. Stewart makes the first one. And there's definitely some WNBA scouts, GMs Think, watching this game. Thinking, and I'll have some of that. She's 21 years old, and she has not backed down at all. I thought she's had a great tournament for them. You know, she was starting in the place of Ann Waters, who started for them last summer at the Eurobasket, where they, as we talked about her, she then gets an offensive foul. But, That's right. You know, she's starting. This is the first time she's really starting for this Belgium team. And she, has she ever held her own? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, she slid she, into her too late. Have her feet set. Boom. <laughs> oh, God. Good call by the ref. Johnny on the spot. Linskin now. Linskin has four fouls. Oh, Griner catches down low. Good help, D. Griner gets it back. It puts it up and in. She is a tower of power. Seems like she has more than that. 14, uh, 16 points. Uh, Brittany Griner has also been battling an injury for this uh, USA team, and we haven't really seen her perform at her ability until today either. It's kind of scary it's when you like think Belgium about it and what they, how they will possibly be playing tomorrow. <laughs> Tarazi, another three. On. Good pass to Robin. And that's her 12th assist. Do you think she might break her own World Cup record? She could do it. We mentioned yesterday, sorry, today, that yesterday she had 13 assists, which is tied for a World Cup record. And of course, the USA, when they scored their first point today, that gave them 10,000 points. Lenskins. And Taraji saves it in bounds. And Raman comes in. And this is another layup. And now Griner posting up and has contact with Raman. So Raman goes down, and the offensive foul. Yeah. 
Applause for the USA players as they come out of the game. Leslie Clarendon comes in, Morgan Tuck comes in, Lloyd comes out. Nika Gul uh, McKay is in, Asia Jones, Kelsey Plum. Here's Alamon in the three pointer short. for three. So it's been a, a great basketball game, one that was close, really. Uh, what would you say, until midway through the third quarter, the USA really started to turn it on. And, and really, uh, both countries should be proud. The USA starting to uh, Shift into that higher gear, and of course Belgium coming out and, and not backing down against the the champions, basically the defending champions. Their own championship aspirations taking a hit tonight. Uh, they'll still play for third. Plum for three. Now Alamon has it. Now Laos short. And Raman put it up thinking, I think, that the shot clock uh, had not reset. Well, I suppose in a way, as the game draws to an end here, the final minute 11, so slightly anticlimactic, but I feel just so good about the health of uh, Certainly the women's game, having watched these two teams trade blows. I know the USA welcomed the challenge tonight. And Belgium are only going to get better. Leisure Clarendon. Yeah, like you said, Jeff, this Belgium team, they're... Alamon goes right down the lane for the layup. They have an average age of 26. I mean, you just saw Alamon, 22. We saw Linskins battle against the bigs of the U.S. She's only 21 years old. Mestin's only 25, people. I mean, Kim Mestag, a veteran, she's still only 28. I really think for a few years, we're going to see a Belgium team that's maybe going to continue to compete at the highest level on the world stage. And how many other young Belgians are being inspired by these Belgian cats who have came, come out and given us a night to remember with the USA. Both teams have been terrific. And Van Lu puts it up from the corner, and that is it. Well played both teams. The USA march into the final, where they will take on the winner of Spain, Australia, who play next. Belgium, they will play in the third place game against the loser of that next semifinal. Wonderful game, ultimately won by the USA, 93 to 77.